Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 2002 AFI Life Achievement Award, Tom Hanks. In 1977, not a single theater in the city of Cleveland, Ohio, was showing a movie called Star Wars on its opening weekend. Not a one. Clevelanders could read about Star Wars in Time Magazine. Pretty good review, as I recall. But as far as actually paying money and seeing the movie at a local Cleveland cinema, didn't happen. We had to wait almost halfway through the month of June before we could glimpse that rebel blockade runner fleeing the Imperial cruiser somewhere above the planet Tatooine. <laughs> Two weeks went by. And the rest of the world was learning about old Ben Kenobi, the crazy hermit, that the Millennium Falcon had made the Kessel Run in just under 12 parsecs, <laughs> and that Luke Skywalker was a little short to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> in Ohio, 14 godforsaken days went by before we could go to a movie theater and see the first Star Wars movie. The one that is actually the fourth Star Wars movie. <laughs> it's the one where a brother and sister who do not realize they are related talk smack to a heavy breather who they don't realize is their father. They actually kiss without knowing that they're related in the second one, which was actually the fifth Star Wars movie, only to have things finally work out in the third Star Wars movie, which was in fact the last Star Wars movie, not the last to be released, mind you, just the final one in the saga. Well, things have changed in Cleveland since then, <laughs> and all for the better. <laughs> Cleveland saw Django Fett, Jar Jar Binks, qui Gon Jinn, and the Darth Small Sidious Invader himself all get cloned and get elected and turn to the dark side or fall to a lightsaber right on time in Cleveland, Ohio, making it once again the best location in the nation. You see, it's as though the exhibitors, George, in Cleveland, they got together and they tried to show Star Wars on time, and they succeeded. After all, there is only do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> and thank the force they did. 1977 was indeed a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away.